All right, so last week I got a question from Graham saying that he had a photo of a Black Panther, which I won't showcase here, by the way. I just used a different photo. But he said he wanted everything black and white except for the eyes. So I figured, why not make a video about that? I already sent him the result, but let me show you how I achieved that, right? So this is JPEG, so I don't have to do all the basic editing. So I'm just going to go to the color calibration module. I'm going to activate that one. And let's use the gray tab, right? Let's activate it. Now, if you want to know what all of these sliders do, then be sure to check out this tutorial because I have actually created a dedicated video on it. But this video is about just preserving the colors of the eyes. So I'm not gonna explain everything into detail. Now, first let us reset it and I'm going to grab a mask. I'm going to grab the brush and we can increase or decrease the mask by using the mouse wheel button. And for the feathering, you need to hold the shift, right? If you want to zoom in on the image, just middle click your mouse and now our eyes are zoomed in. Now, if I paint over the eyes and I do that twice, yeah, then that means that everything within this mask will be affected. But if we click this symbol, that will change or basically invert the mask. Now, if I move these sliders around, you see that we keep the color of the eyes. Now, I don't really like this, so we can change the mask to make it smaller there we go same here now to make this even better just decrease the mask capacity and the mask contrast and you can see over here that now the eyes are being isolated from the rest of the image right now let's zoom in again and let me show the mask by clicking this symbol this needs to decrease so you can do that by just scrolling your mouse wheel button or dragging these points in there we go that looks a lot better now let's say you want to change the colors of the eyes or you may want to make them pop. What you could do is, let's say you want to brighten them, you can use the exposure module or you can just use the tone equalizer module and then go up here and then go to drawn mask, no mask use, and then use the same mask under the color calibration, right? And then if you increase it and you see before and after, you see that the eyes now stand out a lot more, right? If you want to change the colors of the eyes, just go to color again, color equalizer, activate it. Make sure you select this symbol, which is the color picker, place it here. That will show you where the colors are. Now if we move this one, that will make sure that our node lines up with the exact color that we want to change. Right now we're in the saturation. We need to go to the hue tab. And then if I drag this upwards, you see that the color of the eyes has now changed. Same if you move it downwards, it gives a total different color. Now, this is how you can create a monochrome image and still have some selective coloring in it.